Today on Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man, we are crafting the single most powerful armor piece in the game. The Warden Helmet is a monster of a crafting recipe requiring two revived hearts, over three million iron ingots, and the rarest drop from a Slayer boss with a 1 in 7,000 chance to get from the most difficult Zombie Slayer tier in the game. This has been the longest ongoing video project I have ever had on my channel, with some clips being recorded over a month ago. If you could do me a favor this time, hit the like button and subscribe button down below, and comment something as well, it would really go a long way for the channel. Anyways, today, I will be walking you through as we craft the most powerful armor in Hypixel Skyblock. So, I'm pretty sure that once I finish collecting all of these, I'll actually have all of the rotten flesh we need for the Warden Helmet, which is kind of crazy, because I've had these zombie minions up for... Man, I don't even know, probably uh, closer to a month at this point. I mean, I remember waiting for them because I couldn't actually place minion storages down. But I decided, uh, you know what, we're just going to place them down anyway. So I've had these guys down for absolutely ages trying to get the 18 revived hearts. Or not revived hearts, but whatever these things are called, the, uh, the zombie hearts. I need 18 of them and we only need one more. And I'm pretty sure that should be the rest of the flesh to actually have them. So we got a large combat sack and I'm pretty sure, yup, that is well over four stacks. So we can craft that one, and there we go. Wow, we actually almost have one extra. I might let it uh, finish doing that. Uh, but there we go. We have the zombies heart now, all 18 of them. And if we look at the warden helmet recipe, of course, we need two of these revived hearts, which is eight zombie hearts and a crystallized heart. So 16 zombie hearts and two crystallized hearts, which of course cost a zombie heart. So we need 18 in total. And then we need to go to get a couple diamonds. I believe we need a total of eight stacks of enchanted diamond, which is extremely easy to get. That's like three or four enchanted diamond blocks. So like, you know, five, 10 minutes of looking for diamonds and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But uh, actually, oh wait, real quick, let me grab all of this flesh. And I think what I'm going to do is actually try and upgrade one of these, one of these zombie minions here. So if I grab like where, I'm pretty sure I have a tier 7 somewhere. Do I? No, they're all tier 6s. Alright, so it doesn't really matter which one I grab here. We're just going to grab one and go ahead, go up here with it and craft it to the highest tier we can. Because, you know what, three minion slots might as well. So, well, actually I think I'm going to do it this way just so they're all even. Uh, 24, 26 it looks like we're going to get to. Uh, 27, okay. So we can make it to level 7, level 8. Can we get it to level 9? No. Uh, we've got to be really close. Zombie minion. What does level 9 take? Will I leave these guys up? It takes... Oh, 60. We literally just need like five more enchanted flesh. I'll have that by the end of the day. No problem at all. All right, we'll leave this up, but there we go. There's the 18 uh, zombie hearts. Let's go get some diamonds and make two of these into crystallized hearts. Okay, I have inhaled pretty much an entire Mines of Devon worth of diamonds here. Let me just grab the last few blocks. I'm 99% sure that we have more than enough now for the revived hearts. And indeed we do. So let's go ahead. Let's grab two zombie hearts and make these into the crystallized hearts like this. So there's one, and there's two. And now what we can do is we can go ahead, take the rest of these. That's a lot of zombie hearts. Look at all that. And make ourselves two revived hearts. And the crafting recipe, of course, is like this, as you saw earlier. So we will make two of those. Boom, boom. Go ahead, slap these in our warden helmet chest that we will be working towards and there we go there is the first ingredient of the warden helmet done so we take a look here we have now made the two revived hearts all that's left is the warden heart and the ungodly amount of iron this thing takes so that's gonna be our next step is getting all this iron if you don't know this may be the single-handed most annoying thing to do on iron man is to get the iron blocks for a warden helmet I'm not sure if there's anything more time-consuming and tedious in this entire profile. Well, at least besides, you know, like the Twilight Daggers from the Nether update, but those... I don't even know if people are going to be able to make those at this rate because of how long it takes. But I'm pretty sure the uh, Warden Helmet Iron is one of the most obnoxious and time-consuming things to take. So this may possibly take me a month. You can see right now that it is uh, July 16th as I'm making this clip, and we have a whopping, like, two blocks of enchanted iron, and we need 128, so let's get to mining, I, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be lame. Because I'm not too sure how long it will take to get the Warden's Heart dropped from zombie bosses, I decided it would be best to set up some iron minions in the meantime. 
Now keep in mind, we'll need over 3 million iron ingots, so these minions really aren't gonna make very much iron. So we will eventually have to do some manual grinding, but I guess it's time to get started on the grind for the insanely rare drop. Something to note is, most of these clips were streamed live over at my Twitch channel, link to that is of course in the description. And during these streams, people get a currency called channel points, which they can use to bet on which rare drop I will get from the boss next. And if they're right, they get more points, and if they're wrong, well, they lose their points. And well, for this first clip, something unexpected happens. I'll just show you. It's always valid as well. Why did I place my plasma flux? That's like, not something I should have done. Oh! What? What? How do I end the prediction? Wait, how do I end the prediction? What? That's rarer than Warden Heart, right? That is way rarer than Warden Heart. What? How do I end the prediction? <laughs> How do I end the prediction? How do I end the prediction? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I genuinely don't know how to end it. Can I can I make both of them? I can't choose two outcomes. What do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I <laughs> What do I do? <laughs> Give it to the rarest. They're both they're both kind of not rare. They're considered the not rare drops. I think Snake is rarer, but I also don't feel right doing that because I did drop a Beheaded. Yo, what a legendary ghoul! No way! <laughs> Dude, no way! That's sick! Yo, wait, I, I never dropped a legendary like that before. That was awesome! <laughs> I didn't even notice. I wonder how long it was there. I didn't have my headphones on, so I didn't hear the magic find sa sound go off. That was so random. What? <laughs> That's so random. These things are super, super rare. Well, I guess we have that now. Okay. Hello. <laughs> we didn't have any luck getting the Warden's Heart in our first few grinds, so I decided it would be best to wait for Derpy to become mayor. Derpy has a unique perk which gives everyone a 50% boost to skill experience and we can actually use that to instantly spawn our zombie bosses. And by slaying someone else's, we essentially create an infinite chain of bosses. If you build a very specific structure in the Crystal Hollows, you can create an entire factory of pure zombie destruction, and combining this with our Daedalus Axe, Golden Dragon, and swapping to Sorrow Armor every boss, and over 300 million coins spent on these dang zombie quests, this happened. Okay, Warp, now you're gonna have to wait a minute. Ooh, still got the, swar the sorrow off. Check that out. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. H. Ah. Oh, oh, oh! I got it! 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 One heart! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! It's over! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Iron Man Warden Helmet has been acquired! Well, I guess Warden Heart, not Helmet. I am too happy to think properly. Let's go! <laughs> no, I don't think it- was it loot shared? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had my inventory open, so that was my drop. That was my drop. With the Warden Heart finally acquired, the only thing standing between us and the Warden Helmet is an unreasonable amount of ironing guts, and unfortunately our minions only made about half of what we needed. So the best way that I've found to get ironing guts is to mine in the dwarven mines over in the far reserve. I do know there's a strat to mine in the crystal hollows to make slightly more if you build yourself like a path, but I did the math and it would probably take me longer to learn how to do this strategy then to just go and mine the iron ingots in the dwarven mines. So that's what we did. We mined the iron ingots in the dwarven's mines, and uh, I guess I'll show you how that goes. There's a couple of times we're gonna have to check in, because man, this was like a seven or eight hour grind of just mining iron. All right, let's do a check-in real quick on how much iron we've done. Wow, 1,500 already it's been. I don't actually know how long it's been, 
but that is nearly 10 blocks right there, just short. Um, I don't think I have anything spare anywhere. So yeah, that is nine blocks right there. We're gonna need a total of about 51, so that's more or less a fifth of the iron we need. This is gonna take probably five to six hours to do, but uh, I guess I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on in the evening. All right, iron progress check number two. Oh, that's not as much as I was hoping to see. Uh, bummer, that's what, another 10 blocks? Dang it, man, I thought I was gonna get, like, at least 15 from that. Nope, a solid 10 blocks. That puts us at 19 out of 51. We're not even halfway there. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done tonight. I will really try, but it's it's about four more hours of mining for me, and that's... Uh, I'd be up pretty late doing that. Uh, but we'll see. I'll keep going. I really, really do want to get this Warden Helmet as soon as possible, but wouldn't be the worst thing if I do have to end up making it uh, in the morning for me. And there we go. That's over 2,000 Enchanted Iron this time, so this should make a good 12 to 13 blocks or so, at least I hope. And that should put us well over halfway to finishing off and getting the Warden Helmet. Looks like we are getting 12 blocks this time, almost 13. Almost 13, let's go ahead and put those away. Yeah, almost 13. Bring our total up to 31, which means we only need 20 more blocks to go. Uh, that's gonna be two to three more hours of mining, which is lame, but we're gonna keep going and probably only one or two more check-ins and we'll be done. I just went and collected my minions one more time and I think if I go ahead and empty out my iron sack completely here, we should have just about, yep, 3200 enchanted iron. And I went ahead and grabbed the spare part of a stack that I had in my uh, chest over there full of iron. So I think we're now going to have every single piece of iron that we need to finish off the Warden Helmet's recipe. Look at that, yep. 20 blocks perfectly on the dot here, making it so we actually have all of the ingredients. So, uh, I'm gonna wait till I'm a little more awake to do this, but we have all the ingredients of the Warden Helmet. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. It's time to make the Warden Helmet. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. This has been probably the longest thing in the making on this profile. So let's just go ahead, not drag this out. And there it is, the Iron Man Warden Helmet has been acquired. Look at that, carpentry level whatever that is. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, I have never owned a Warden Helmet. Let me just say that, I've never owned a Warden Helmet. I almost owned one for a little bit on my first ever profile, but uh, something happens to it and I did not actually end up getting it. But this is the first ever Warden Helmet I've really had to use. So I guess there's one thing we have to do uh, so we can actually test this properly. And that's of course use a precursor gear on it. So it actually gets decent reforge stats. Let's also go ahead and enchant it for now. Let's just do the standard growth five prop five. I'm definitely going to make this like a higher enchanted something uh, later on, but we're gonna at least get it to match our Terra helmet and do a proper damage comparison with it. So we'll need uh, 10 hot potato books as well. And let me just get rid of that because I don't need the cobblestone in my inventory. And let's go ahead and actually properly test this out. So we're going to need 30 sugarcane and then of course make the uh, potato books. What? Oh, I'm stupid. I need to make the sugarcane into paper first. That's, that was kind of dumb. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, please actually work game. There we go. And we'll go over to the anvil, apply the ancient or forge to it and the hot potato books. And then we're going to see how much better it is than the Terra Helm. Because honestly, I have no idea. I've just heard that the helmet is absolutely amazing. I've been told that it increases your damage anywhere from like 10% to even 30% or more. So I'm pretty excited to see how much of a damage increase this is going to give us. Because it's going to help us do a ton of stuff, especially over in the Nether. Because those mobs have a ton of health. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. This will be the Ancient Warden Helmet with Hot Potato Books. So let's go ahead and apply that there. And let's go do a damage test. So I'm just going to be using my standard 3 fourths Necron and Tarantula Helmet. These pieces are recommed. The Tarantula Helmet is not just like the Warden Helmet. Obviously, I'll, re I'll recom the Warden Helmet in the future, but I want to do a, you know, a test that's as equal as possible. So I guess we're going to do a couple things here. Um, I think we're just going to go with our maxed out damage setup here. Let's go and grab our Axe of the Shredded and see how much damage we deal with the Axe and the Golden Dragon versus uh, with the Warden Helmet. So let's go ahead and with the Tarantula Helmet, we will be dealing about 619 to 620,000. Pretty easy number to remember, 620,900 damage, just like that. So yep, 620,000, pretty much on the dot. And our Strength to Crit Damage Ratio is pretty 
darn close to equal. So let's go ahead and throw on the Warden Helmet and then go ahead and rematch our Strength to Crit Damage Ratio to be as good as possible. Because yeah, right now we're missing a little bit of Strength. Actually, wait, let me hold the Axe of the Shredded here. And okay, we're missing a ton of Crit Damage actually. So, oh, my tuning is already set for Crit Damage. Looks like we are not going to be changing our Reforges. And this is just how it's going to be because I can't really get any more. So we're going to take the long walk over. I don't want to teleport with the Aspect the end because it'll make me deal more damage for a few seconds. And we're going to see how much damage this does. So, our Terra Helm did 620,000. Let's go ahead and go over here where someone isn't and see how much more damage we deal. What? Wait. I'm doing 130,000 damage more. That's insane. Look at that. How much am I going to deal with the Reaper armor? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If I uh, put the Terra Helm on the Reaper armor, I already know I deal... Okay, it's about the same. I already know I deal about 600... Or about... Just about a million damage with the ability. Uh, you can see that in a previous video of mine if you really want to. But with this... Okay, let's see how much damage this deals now. Okay, about the same. And then with the ability... 1.1, yep. So it's like a 10 to 15% damage increase. That is absolutely awesome. I am thrilled to see that. 870 was that? 870,000 on a Romero hit? Look at that. That is absolutely unreal. Looks so fancy. I'm so happy to see this. Uh, let's try with the Terminator as well. That's something that uh, people probably want to see. Uh, we actually have to get a crit with the Terminator, of course. So give me a few tries to get a crit here before I can actually see my damage. So with the Terra Helm, it deals... Uh, once I actually land a critical hit here, uh, please, if you could be so kind as to actually crit 299k. So just about 300k. And let's throw on the Warden Helmet and see how much this deals now. Once I get a critical hit, please, game. Uh, 30k on a non-crit. That doesn't really help us test with a crit, though. Really want to see a crit damage, please, if you could, game. 379, so about an 80,000 damage increase, which is almost like 30%. That's pretty dang good, especially for the Terminator. And we have, yeah, we have a lot more crit damage in the term build than with the uh, Axe of the Shredded, because it's a more crit damage based weapon. Um, This thing is awesome. Oh, wait, we're not even using the right Terminator Reforge. Wait, okay, so that's a little bit higher than it would normally be, because we're not using one that has a chance build. This is the one that I would normally use with my Terminator bow. So I guess we should do a test using Fortuitous as our Reforge compared to not using fortuitous so let's try this let's give a sec for the damage to wear off now we have an 82 percent crit strike chance and a much closer to even crit damage ratio uh 217k seems pretty consistent and then with the warden helmet 268k yeah that's still such a huge increase man this helmet is brokenly strong and we can almost retire the terra helmet i mean it's good to still have the terra helmet on us but you know it's not really something i'm going to be using too much anymore because we don't really need to it's more of just like that helmet I use for maybe some dungeon floors, but that's about it. Wow, we actually have the Warden Helmet now. This is pretty awesome, and it is certainly as good as I was hoping it would be. Let's do a test and see how much damage we deal to a boss here. I gotta get it a little bit low. It looks like we're dealing... We were doing 1.9 mil during the ability. Wow, that was pretty good. 6.6 .6 second boss for during Derpy. We could probably crank out three second bosses now, uh, uh, not during Derpy, but of course, we don't have a need to do Rev Slayer anymore, but that's just something kind of fun that we could do now. So, uh, yeah. Here it is in all of its glory. 25 strength, 12 crit chance, 41 crit damage, 422 health, 142 defense, 20 intelligence, and the ability Brute Force that gives us more damage the faster we are. This is the Warden Helmet in its true glory, but that's going to be it for this episode of Hypixel Scott Block Iron Man. If you enjoyed, a like rating and subscribe is greatly, greatly appreciated. This video took a ton of work. If I do the, uh, the command slash playtime, we now have 4,152 hours of playtime on this profile. If you expect the grind, hit the subscribe button for more episodes, but that's it for today. Hope to see you all in the next episode, and take care.